back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. In today's video, we're going to be talking about hammocks. Now, hammocks have been around for hundreds of years. And actually, Christopher Columbus discovered the hammock in the Bahamas, where he stated on the 17th of October in 1492 that people were sleeping in nets between the trees. He brought the hammock back to Europe at that point, where mainly sailors started using it extensively. And then that was way back in 1492. Now, you, you can get a lot of different types of hammocks. There's all kinds of hammocks out there. I love my hammock. Um, I have a sunny ear hammock. It's a double camping hammock with a mosquito bug net. It's a 10-foot hammock. Um, it came with everything that you need. I got the tree straps and the carabiners. It goes up really easy, and it's a portable parachute nylon hammock, and it's basically made for camping, backpacking, survival, travel, and whatever else you may want to use it for. Now, when you are looking at your hammocks, this one here, um, I went with something that was very highly rated on Amazon. It's a 4.6 stars out of uh, 2,127 ratings. Um, it is 55 inches wide and 106 inches long. Now, I am 6'1", 240 pounds, and this hammock fits me very comfortable. You have plenty of room and everything else. Now, something I would suggest that you do get if you are looking for hammocks, uh, make sure that you get something that comes with all the attachments that you're going to need, the straps, the carabiners, the whole nine yards. You can buy them without that, but then you have to purchase all those products separately. You can also get them with the bug nets, without bug nets, and you can find some that come with the whole thing all put together for you, and you get the tarp and everything else. I would suggest that you want to get you an inflatable um, sleeping pad and pillow comes in a nice little case. I have that and it makes the hammock even more comfortable. And it's very lightweight as is the hammock and takes up little room in your backpack. Now your hammocks, they start from anywhere from 15 bucks up to $200. It's all in what you want to spend. My hammock cost me 50 bucks and it was the best 50 bucks that I've ever spent on a piece of gear as far as your sleeping system. Now I've always used to sleeping in a lean-to on an air mattress or in any tent. And after I did a trip last year and I used my hammock for the first time, I'll never go back. I love my hammock. It is so comfortable. It is just amazing. Now, <clears throat> one thing about the hammocks um, to give you a, a, a very good advantage of getting you off the ground and above anything that could be on the ground, if you get what I'm saying. And when you combine it with a good tarp, they require little attention to keep dry, even in a driving rain or a snowstorm or anything like that. You can adjust the tarps up and down. You can jump, you can take your hammock and you can move it up if it is hot outside or if it's cooler weather in the fall or if you are a winter camper you want to get it closer towards the ground not on the ground but this way here when you put your tarp and stuff it kind of makes like a little dome over you that helps keep the heat inside now you can also get um, they call them a bivy bag and they go underneath to help keep you warm but you can also use a wool blanket you put that in first and then you put your sleeping pad and then put your sleeping bag on top of your sleeping pad and that creates a barrier between you and the cold air on the outside and will help keep you warm because the last thing you want is for hypothermia to set in because it's too cold and you're off the ground and then you adjust your tarp to make sure that you can block off a lot of the wind. It's the same difference in the summertime. You can adjust your tarp on the outside. You can raise it up 
so that you get plenty of airflow. Then if it's bad weather, it's raining or something, you can drop the sides down and that will take and block all that out and you still stay nice and dry and you can still get a good night's sleep. Now, depending on what type of tarp you do get and what type of hammock you do get, you can always just tie a string on the tarp or if your hammock sticks out farther than the tarp on the ends where the straps are, you tie a string a few inches back from where your hammock begins and let it dangle down and that way there when the rain runs down the strap it'll hit that and it acts as a gutter system and the water will drip off that onto the ground and it will not come to your hammock a little tip there <clears throat> hammocks are also very lightweight and packable um, they're very quick to set up and provide very comfortable sleep most modern hammocks are made from a nylon type parachute material but they can also be made from rope as well as canvas the rope ones are how they were originally made years and years ago and then over time we have devised into what we have now you can still buy the rope ones if you do choose so a lot of people have those in just their backyards hammock setup is you know it's not a complicated thing um, which makes them very easy to use anywhere in the woods so if you take a tent for say and you set up a tent you need a flat ground your hammock you can set that up anywhere you can set it up on a side of a hill over water you can set it up anywhere you want to set it up if you are hiking through the woods and stuff it's very easy to set up and this way here you know all you need is two trees the right distance apart and boom you can set up a campsite in no time so if a storm is rolling in and you are hiking through the woods or something you find yourself two trees throw it up put your tarp up and you are good to go whereas in a tent you need to find some level ground to set that up on now when you're flying your tarp above your hammock you know it makes a basically a, a roof you know and it's an easy camp outfit you know especially in mild temperatures you can use your hammocks in colder environments or in seasons you know it's really any season you you will really want to use so if you're a winter camper you can camp in the winter you can camp in summer spring or fall you know you don't have to worry about the ground being muddy or anything like that if you're setting up a tent you know you have to take all that into consideration you have to find dry ground and level ground and you want to make sure that water doesn't run through where you are setting up your tent your hammock on the other hand you don't have those issues that's been taken out of the equation which makes it a beautiful thing so when it comes down right down to it i think a hammock is one of your best options if you are going out into the woods now if you have a family you're going to a camp ground and you're going camping for the weekend or something like that a tent would probably be a good thing but if you're backpacking through the woods and you're going to be out in the woods or in a survival situation a hammock you can pitch anywhere and you can pitch it low to the ground high in the trees whichever way you prefer to do it which makes the hammock one of the best inventions that we've had when it comes to survival or if you're trying to not be found they are very comfortable you can adjust them to a different tightness it's all in your preference so you may want to check out hammocks very inexpensive takes up little room in your backpack and it's ready to go whenever you need it and you can hang it anywhere so until next time this is survival preparedness for beginners i'll catch you all on the flip side